Have you ever heard of Picard's theorem, Picard's little theorem or little Picard theorem in complex analysis? It's just awesome. It's, it's the kind of theorem that <laughs> it's so cool. It's just one of those theorems that shows how being entire, being a holomorphic function in all of the complex numbers, it's such a strong condition. So being holomorphic in the entire complex plane means that the function has a complex, it's complex differentiable. And that is such a strong condition compared to real differentiable that uh, it has consequences like this one. One way to express the theorem is the following. Suppose you have a function of the complex numbers that is entire, so it's holomorphic in all the complex numbers, so it has a complex derivative at every point, and the image misses two values, 0 and 1, or 3 and a square root of 2, or i and minus i. If it misses two values here, then it has to be a constant function. That, that's so bizarre. And that condition is critical. It's critical because, well, we have, for example, the exponential function, which is uh, the complex derivative of e to the z is itself, just in like, the real case. However, it's never zero. So this function does miss one value, but it's still an entire function. Um, however, if it missed just one more value, it would be constant, but we know this is not constant. So actually, uh, the exponential reaches every other complex number except zero. And compare that behavior with the real exponential. So the exponential function with a real variable x, it's always positive. So it misses every single negative number and zero. Uh, so it misses infinitely many values of real numbers, but yet it's, of course, not a constant function. 